Hey everybody, it's Brad. This month I'm going to teach you how to download and use new TrueType fonts um, that can be integrated with either the Silhouette Cameo Cutter and its software um, or with the Artistic software. Um, and uh, this first video I'm going to focus on what you can do with the Silhouette Cutter uh, and then I'm going to make another video on things you can do using these custom fonts in the um, Artistic software. Um, so uh, I'm going to get right to it. Um, there's a website that you're going to need to go to uh, that offers free downloads of custom TrueType fonts. And these are fonts that can be used on your computer with any program. Um, but the embroidery and cutting programs that we have, uh, that we're using in this class, are particularly good uh, combinations with it. So to get to the site that I'm going to talk to you about, you're going to open your web browser, uh, whatever web browser you use, whether it's Internet Explorer or Chrome or Firefox, and you're going to go to a website that is dafont.com. So dafont, just type in dafont.com. And this site is kind of like a collection of fonts that people submit, and they're all free for personal use. So most of these will say free for personal use, like it says here on this font here, free for personal use. Uh, and as long as it says that, oops, I didn't mean to click on that, let me go back. As long as it says that, you can use it um, and make stuff for yourself or for your friends or whatever. Um, you're not, strictly speaking, allowed to sell it to people. Um, so just uh, have that caveat when in mind when you're doing this. Um, but there are all kinds of fonts in here, um, from fonts from TV shows to um, not even just fonts. They have some, some really cool custom, uh, they call them dings, uh, custom, they're, they're images essentially, but they're mapped to the keys on your keyboard. And I'll, I'll get more into that in a minute, but first let's deal with uh, just lettering fonts. So uh, you basically look across at these options here. You've got under fancy here, we've got cartoon, and click on that. And so here we have mostly cartoony type um, fonts. And so this first r uh, column here, we've got the Zippity Doodah font, Royal Delight, Orange Juice, and, and you can see that they're all kind of cartoony. Like here's this is from a TV show, uh, Pokemon cartoon. Um, and uh, so these are the ones that are on the first page. And if you look down at the bottom here. We've actually got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then dot, 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 all the way up to 121. So there's 101 pages containing this many fonts in just this one section alone. Um, so here we'll just like go up to page five, and we see that there are just still way more and more and more. Look, this is Yahoo's corporate font, Super Mario Brothers font. I mean, it's just really, really cool. All these different, here's the font from The Grinch Who Stole Christmas. I mean, it's every kind of font you could imagine is available on this site. Um, so here we'll just do a couple other categories before we actually download one. Like here, let's see, fancy typewriter. So these are all different typewriter style. Like some of them are made to look like it's a broken typewriter doing it. And, and then again, with the 17 pages of just fonts that look like a typewriter, it's, when I stumbled upon this site, I was frankly in shock. Uh, at the amount of fonts that were available. I mean, I've never really looked into this before, and really it was just for this class that I was goofing around trying to find out how to find new fonts. I didn't think I was going to find a million free fonts, uh, but here they are. So when you find one that you want, so say I want this Tattoo Ink font, um, just for instance. Uh, I want this Tattoo Ink font. If I look over here, I've got a little icon that, icon that says Download. If this is the font that I want, I'm just going to left-click on that, now here in Firefox, which is the web browser that I'm using, this is what the uh, interface looks like. Um, but whichever type of web browser you're using, if, it's, if it asks you whether you want to open or save the file, tell it that you want to open it. Um, and I have WinRAR, which is an unzipping program. Whenever you download something from here, it's in a zipped file. Um, and uh, I'm sure most of you are used to getting embroidery designs in a zipped format. Um, so you should have something that can unzip so whatever you use to unzip, whether it's whatever the Windows default is or WinRAR, you want to open this file. So I'm just going to say OK. And what's going to happen is it's going to show me the contents. Here, this is just telling me to buy a license for WinRAR. I'm going to close that. Um, so here, it's going to show me the contents of this zipped file I just downloaded. 
and the one that you're looking for is the one that says TTF dot TTF so whichever file in here says whatever it is dot TTF and then if you look under type if, if yours displays that it depends on what kind of unzipping you're using but true type font file so what you want to do is run this file that's uh, the dot TTF extension so I'm just going to double click on it to run it and what it does is this is the true type font installer uh, it shows me um, the letters and if there's numbers the numbers will be here uh, whatever's digitized for this font. So I've got A through Z and it looks like it's identical for the lowercase. So I basically only have uppercase letters and I've got some punctuation marks. So to install this font so that I have it on my computer, I just left click here where it says install. I left click that. It says it's installing it. And once it's done installing it, that's it. You have this font now. So I can just close and close the zip interface there. And I'm going to minimize my web browser, and I'm just going to open up the Silhouette Cameo Studio program. Okay, and then once this opens, all I have to do is the same operation that we did last week, um, when, or not last week, last month rather, uh, in Soft Park Club, where we went to our lettering option here, the capital letter A with a little red line next to it, and then left click anywhere in this open space. And under text style, we've got all these different choices. We're going to scroll down to whatever our new font was, which you know, honestly I actually forgot what it was. I think it started with a T though. What was that? It was Tattoo Ink. There it is. So Tattoo Ink, type in whatever I want it to say. Um, So we've typed in my lettering here. This is what I'm going to say on my, uh, in this example, let's say we're making a vinyl heat transfer, um, just like we did uh, last month to put letters on a shirt. Um, we're gonna do this. So I put my letters in, I'm gonna left click to get out of the lettering program. And then I can select just by left clicking on my lettering and I can size it or place it. So I can size it up to the size I want. Here I've got it uh, 2.1 inches tall. Say that's the size that I want. All I gotta do now, well, if I'm using that heat transfer stuff, I actually have to reverse it. And the way you do that is you go to Object, Transform, Flip Horizontally so it mirror images it. All I gotta do is send it to the silhouette. So send to silhouette. And assuming that my settings were the way that I want them, uh, you just hit cut and it's gonna cut this lettering design out for you uh, and then you just peel it away um, just to give you kind of an idea for what this will look like you can actually do a preview of what it's gonna look like before you cut it by going to this fill icon at the top here uh, this is in the top right hand area of the screen it looks like a bucket of paint spilling over left click on that say I'm gonna cut this out in um, black vinyl left click on black and you get a realistic preview of what that's gonna look like um, just kind of gives you a better idea for, for what it'll look like. And this red bit here, um, this is just, it, it puts a red line around whatever the cut line is. So it's gonna be this really delicately feathered shading here. Uh, that's why you see the little bit of red there. But um, that's it. I mean, it really doesn't get much easier than that. Uh, at least, I don't think so. Um, as far as, as, as uh, making stuff to put on a shirt, this is far easier than even embroidering it, um, really. It's not the same look, it's not as durable, uh, but darn does it look cool, <laughs> I think. Uh, all right, so anyway, that's, that's how you would download a lettering font. Now, as I said, there were some other fonts that aren't for lettering. They actually are a collection of um, designs that you can use, and I'm gonna show you how to how to get to those next. And if you don't know what I'm talking about here, just hang with me. You'll see what I mean when I get to it. So I'm going to close this program here. No, I don't want to save changes. I'm going to open up my web browser again. And this time I'm going to scroll back up and look under these categories where it says dingbats. Dingbats. And these dingbats are fonts that some of them are lettering, but most of them are not. Most of them are symbols. By symbols, let me show you what I mean. If I go to logos here, left click on logos, 
look at this. I've got the Facebook logo, YouTube logo, Twitter, another Twitter logo. Here we've got Globe, Puma, Chanel, Vans, Adidas, North Face, Nike, Coca-Cola, all these different ones. So um, you've got all these different things to choose from. And so what this is, this is just a preview. This isn't even all of the things that are in there. So say, let's just go, let's do death metal logos. I mean, so if you've got somebody who's into literally anything, um, you know, there there's going to be a design for them. I mean, it's just amazing. Uh, so, okay, so say you've got somebody who's like a comic book nerd, like me, and they really are into uh, Wonder Woman or Superman or, or Batman or something like that. Uh, look at this. So I'm going to go ahead and download this font first. All right, so I'm going to left click on download here, and it's going to be the same process uh, as before. We're going to open the file instead of saving it, click OK, and then you double click on the TPF file. Um, I just had to close that whenever I open WinRAR and it asks me to register it. So I go to uh, bccomics.ttf in this case, double click, it opens up the, the preview of what the font looks like, and I just hit install. Now how do I know what little icon corresponds to what key? Well, what you're going to do is actually left click on the name here, like here the name of this one I just downloaded is DC Comics, if I left click on that it's going to show me a map. So if I look down here. There's nothing that's mapped to the capital letters. Okay, so if I type in a capital letter, nothing will happen. But if I type in a lowercase letter, then whatever letter that corresponds to the symbol on this page uh, is, is what I'm going to get. So let's just say, for instance, that I am looking for a design for... Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll do... Um, I don't want to do the bad logo. I did that before. Aquaman's lame. Well, we'll do Wonder Woman. All right. So that's that's W appropriately enough. So I just go back to my Silhouette Cutter program. I'm gonna open that up. So we're gonna make an awesome Wonder Woman shirt. Or it could be anything that you could apply the heat transfer to. Uh, we go to the lettering program. Left click, and it's by alphabetical order. So even though it's it's not you're not going to be able to read it it's in alphabetical order so now that it was DC Comics and I can see right here all these symbols so I know that this is that font I left click on it I'm gonna type in the lowercase letter W there's my Wonder Woman left click anywhere in the screen and now I can left click on my design and drag to move it size it to the size that I want I can go up and preview what it's gonna look like with my little paint bucket tool here say I'm gonna put it in um, gold or black purple or whatever color um, vinyl or vinyl heat transfer I'm going to use and then I can cut this out using my cutter and make an awesome shirt out of it and and you saw all those different choices that you have there are a lot of them um, so I think that's pretty neat um, anybody who has a cutter should be doing this because it's way way easier than trying to draw things yourself and there's so many cool pop culture things available on that Duffont website. You should be able to keep yourself busy for a long, long time with this. Um, one other thing I wanted to show you, I actually forgot to mention earlier in the video. I'm going to go ahead and close out the Silhouette Studio program. Uh, if you are looking at a font list here, that's ones that are letters instead of these symbols. So look if I go back under these fancy ones and say do, um, oh I'll do retro. Okay, so here's the retro fonts list, and if you go into under this preview section here where it says preview, and it says type your text here, if I type in what I want to type, so let's do Sovac again, look at this, it gives me a preview of that font typing out the letters that you choose, so you can really see what it's going to look like before you actually even download the font. Um, for, for what it's going to say. There's that tattoo link one I got earlier. Um, just amazing, amazing that this website exists, I think. And um, this actually will work and not only with this Cameo Cutter program, but with the Artistic program. Uh, and I'll show you that in the next video, what you can do with those fonts that you download. Um, it'll work with whatever other program you've got. I mean, Letterworks 3, uh, Masterworks 3, um, uh, Palette. Um, Floriani software, 
any major digitizing program, you'll be able to import these fonts one way or another. Um, and not just the fonts, but the, the ones that have the little icons for all sorts of stuff too, with, like with the Wonder Woman thing. So, well, I hope this helps some people out there and, and that some of you make some really cool shirts. Um, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.